Hey guys, Spartan here, and welcome to Darkest Dungeon again. Well, I should probably say welcome back, but basically, yes, welcome to Crimson Court. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be starting a new file here, because, yes, multiple DLCs. Crimson Court Districts and Flagellant are all DLCs just bundled into the Crimson Court. You can disable one, or something. Uh, this is going to be, like, oh, Blood Moon. Is that what... Blood Moon is Stygian plus Crimson Court, okay. Um... Really? I'm pretty sure that Crimson Court is enabled just in normal game mode anyway. And we will call this... The Buggiest Estate, because there's a lot of bugs in this DLC. Literal bugs, not game bugs itself. So, um, I have something to talk about. It's the fact that... Oh boy, I made an update a while ago saying that I was having problems recording Dark's Dungeon. Uh, yeah, I lied. It's because I was actually beta testing Crimson Court and I wasn't allowed to say it, so... I am allowed to say it now. But I wasn't allowed to say it before, so yeah. Uh, I knew most about this DLC since I was I was testing the damn thing. Red Hook asked me to. So yes, I can give insight on a bunch of changes. And it, it'll start, I guess, when this whole loading screen ends. Odin Sphere will probably be put on hold for a bit while I do more Darkest Dungeon. First change. Uh, Bulk of Faith now lasts for the whole battle and it gives 20 torch. I'm pretty sure the torch amount stays at flat 20%. And um, I think Crusader is relatively unchanged other than that. Hyman's Tracking Shot now lasts the whole round as well, I think. Yep. Because it says uses per battle one, so it would make sense for it to that. They changed the highwayman's art in the background here, and open vein now debuffs speed as well, so it's a bit better. Nothing major though. I hope the audio was balanced fairly well. I haven't changed it much since last time. I think the audio was right, and if it's not, I'll get it right in the next episode. Shank. No shanks. Uh, I'd rather just kill this guy right here. I don't need the torch immediately. So, yep, uh, the tutorial is otherwise unchanged, I'm pretty sure. So, I have faced uh, surprisingly only one of the new bosses. So Tracking Shot actually is viable here, because it lasts for a whole battle. Uh, I want to move you forwards, in case point blank shot. If everything went according to plan, uh, I would have got off Bulwark of Faith before the thing now. Also, uh, Light gives dodge now, so yeah, that's a benefit. Still cannot kill this guy. Rip me. So yeah, you may notice the Bulk of Faith is the exact same as it was in Pitch Black Dungeon. That is because Silvio played a decent part at rebalancing a bunch of stuff. And you may be wondering my opinion on that, and it is actually beneficial some ways, negative other ways. The thing is that I approved of Bulk of Faith's power in Pitch Black Dungeon, I actually like that change, it's just that everything else in Pitch Black Dungeon was absolute shite. So, yes, uh, a whole bunch of trinkets got changed too, and that was pretty much completely Silvio's uh, doing. So yeah, expect every single class's trinkets to be changed negatively, except for the Jesters. And nothing, okay, didn't get a key. So yeah, I'm just going to speed through this part of the game because it's the exact same every time. I was considering just skipping this out, but... Ooh, quick draw. Nice. Uh, but yeah, couldn't be bothered. Hamlet is unchanged here. So, we have these things. So 
So you can see a picture of the Baron, the Viscount, the Viscount, whatever it is. Shut up, Wayne. Jesus. Okay, I'm gonna upgrade this to four heroes so I can get some good ones, hopefully. Of course, I have to take these. On guard is not bad. Bloodthirsty. Well, we're gonna get a lot of bloodthirsty heroes in Crimson Court, trust me. And this guy has three of good skills, and this one has three of good skills as well. Alright, that isn't half bad. Oh, yeah, I forgot. There's this thing as well. Okay, you can't even see what it is until you unlock the town event that gives it. Okay, so the courtyard is up here. It is in space. <laughs> okay, there's just no space on the map to really put it. I mean, it's not out here. That's the cove. But yeah, um, these guys are pretty much the same. I'll put Bodorel in the back and Tilly here, I guess. Go for it, Hook. Also, uh, shut up, Wayne. Please. Uh, I will be taking suggestions on names, so, yeah, write in the comments suggestions for names. I'm not renaming Reynold or Dismas. I probably don't even need that many torches. Yeah, that'll do. This is the tutorial quest, I know how it goes. Jesus, game. Uh, so yeah. It will possibly be first come, first serve. Some viewers have priority because they are members of my Discord server, which of course, they kind of get first pick because I've known them for a fair while. If you want to join my Discord server where we talk about Dark's Dungeon, or Hearthstone basically, uh, you can click the link in the description. It'll probably be a lot of Darkness Dungeon talk since Crimson Court is out. And surprise skeletons. I don't think any of these units moves have been changed at all. Uh, so is tracking shot still, like, is it viable now? Uh, actually, yes, against some things. Shut up, Wayne. Please, Wayne. It is viable against bosses, pretty much. But nothing else still. Uh, that might not kill. So, Reynolds is still kleptomania. Klept kleptomaniacal as normal. Vengeful Greaves, yeah, plus one crit. Uh, I'll probably just sell that because it's kind of junk, and I never use Arbalists because they're a bit weak. Sure, they have range, but so does the Leper now, whose Intimidate got severely buffed. Kind of want to just kill the stupid witch. Acolyte. Fuck, I missed. I have been getting... Actually, never mind. I was going to say something, but then I was like, oh wait, that doesn't matter. And we've got... We've got dodges for days. Let's get some blight down on this thing. Bump of the night. Nice dodge. Expect many dodges. Okay, oh, come on. We've missed three out of four hits. And these are basic fucking skeletons. Okay, there we go. You're dead. Like, soon. Eight damage. Hoorah. Can we kill you now? Just need to land this blight. There we go. The slow death. Unforeseen. Unforgiving. Uh, what else got buffed? The occultist's heal got buffed. It now heals for two more. Oh yeah, the game has uh, healing voice lines as well. For Wayne. As if Wayne didn't talk enough. You know what, I like Wayne's voice acting, it's just that it's a bit plentiful now. Okay. Yeah, uh, Occultist Heal now heals for two more. He can heal from any rank now, too, which is good. Maybe... Maybe Frontline Occultist will become viable. Nah. It'll never happen. Or is it merely a trick of the light? Also, excuse me if my mouse is a bit loud. It's one of those... If this is your first time watching me, this is a wireless mouse. I should probably get a wired mouse soon. Uh, 
Um, I won't bother reading those things because they're kind of pointless and I'm going to fill up my inventory with them and I'm just going to throw them away because they're not worth anything. Hey, we surprised them. <clears throat> Ugh, what's with my throat today? Okay, you can still seemingly, do seemingly dodge everything. You know, having 13 dodge at this stage of the game is kind of a bit unfair for me. I mean, granted, the highwayman has like 14 dodge. We're in radiant light. And the enemies, I'm pretty sure, have more accuracy than us. Okay, so you are dead. Dead, dead. I really like that song. The best game over theme ever in any video game ever. So you're taking six. So you're dead on your next turn. Uh, damn it. Well, we might as well try and heal. In radiance, may we find victory. This won't do anything, really. I mean, really, it, it literally won't do anything. Come on, Vessel, take your turn. Uh, this is potentially four, this is potentially five. Oh boy. Three. Okay, just smite this fool. More journal pages. Move stone. Absolute trash. Everyone knows move skills aren't that good in this game. There are only like two or three move skills in this game now. Postal is the thing? Yes, I, I forget purge is still a skill, so yeah. A handsome reward for a task well performed. I find it funny how literally no one uses purge because it's kind of shit. You take the highest damage dealing class in the game and then you give it a corpse clear. Not the best choice. And that's why I bought the four food in case uh, that happened. The reason I bought the shovel is for this blockage here, and the reason I bought the key is for this treasure room here as well, so yes, I brought one too few torches though it seems. It's been a while since I did the tutorial because they just like, gave us save files for the testing at specific points in the game, uh, which you'd think would be okay, but it wasn't really because the save files we got, like, sometimes the characters were just riddled with disease. Please stun. Thank you, no no stress for us. In before critical hit quarrel on the plague, Doctor. Okay. I was worried that I was actually going to be right there. Right here. No, I forgot it's 5 for 10 because of no, no radiant light. Probably should have used Bulwark of Bulwarking. Is that the washing machine going off again? Son of a bitch. Why does the washing machine always go off when I'm recording? And I know you can't hear it, but I can, and it's annoying. And we got three. Three instead of six. I remember back in the old days where that wasn't like a set HP on every one, it was. Like, if you hit one on someone, you could get two, and then, like, two, and then one, or something like that. I don't know if that was better or worse. I think it was more balanced. I was gonna see if that move actually did nothing. So yeah, now this guy has negative one speed. I don't even know why I'm healing right now. I should probably just be attacking. But there is the thing about getting less negative quirks if you're higher on HP. And let's leave this place after dousing the torch and getting some loot. Sapphires. Beautiful. I would prefer rubies, but eh, beggars can't be choosers. 
The reason I'm recording this instead of streaming it, by the way, is because I can record in 3,000 bit rate, but I can only stream in like 1,000, otherwise I get drop frames. Even then, I'm pretty sure I get drop frames. Clutch hitter and evasive. What's with all the good good quirks? Like, I haven't got any bad ones yet. There is a great horror beneath the manor. Hooray. A crawling chaos that must be I'm just gonna get Wayne's talking out of the way. I'll just ignore him while I talk about junk. Fresh cakes, cards, and, and no flagellants. To the weary and broken alike. Torn rotator. No thanks. Mm. It may seem strange, but this Grey Rower does seem to be the best out of all four of these units. We'll take these two. To those with a keen eye, gold gleams like a dagger's point. And Guild's not unlocked yet. Don't need to do anything else. I'll do one more mission in this episode because this is a, sh this is a short mission, of course. Well, not a short mission, this is just the intro and other junk. Uh, Cursed Incense got nerfed a bit, I think. Did it? I don't think so. Doesn't look like it. Uh, Bleeding Pendant got nerfed by 15% bleed chance, speed stone, unchanged. <coughs> Probably just gonna take the Cursed Incense. Yeah, that doesn't seem that bad. So who should I leave out? Maybe the Plague Doctor. Poison darts. I really wish poison darts wasn't the default skill on the grave robber. I wish it was throne dagger. I've run, like, Red Hook keeps trying to push blight grave robber, but it it would never work. It's trash. Yeah, do I want to use Hellion? Right, I'll bring the Hellion instead of uh, Reynold. Just give Reynold a bit of a break before his um. Kleptomania so he gets locked in so I can use the sanitarium. And not spend 50,000 gold. So alright, we're gonna bring a, a whole bunch of food. Also, secret rooms got nerfed a bit, I think. Uh, don't quote me on that, though. This should be enough to take. Not missing anything, am I? Nope. Alright. <clears throat> so let me talk about the flagellant because I, I didn't see him in town, so yeah. So the flagellant is a very strong class, a bit tricky to use though. He is a religious character, he will not go with the abomination on any quests. He will also not go with any other flagellant, so you can only have one per group. He is of course a frontliner. He can move backwards one and forwards three, so he's like very mobile, but he only really wants to go forwards because he's a frontliner. He has moves that mark himself, he has moves that heal his allies and himself, but those healing skills can only be used when he's on 50% HP or less, so he can get to a dire situation and like, he can be on like 51% health and you need to heal him a bit before the next big assault and you're not able to. He does heal for a lot though. At level 5 he heals himself for 50% of his HP and the ally heal skill he has heals the ally for like 48% of their HP. So it's very strong. Thing is he's Kind of an unreliable unit. He is bleed based, of course, so he's like the counterpart to the Jester. I get some heals here. Yeah. What else can I say about him? Uh, not much. He, he has a bleed cure that transfers the bleed to him, which is interesting. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention his resistances. He has very, very high bleed resist. So that's uh, a good thing. Potentially. His downside is kind of damage over time effects, because 
he does get buffed when he's on low health, but it's not very useful when he just blights out. He's probably never going to bleed out, though, because of his high bleed resist. Uh, all his resistances are pretty much okay. Uh, he does have 6%, I think. No, it's 7% extra death blow resist. It's not much, but it does count for something. His camping skills are, there's one that gives him 50 stress. No, no, it's it gives him 40 stress. You may be wondering why that's useful. It's because his affliction does give him a very large damage buff, although at the cost of his berserker nature. He has a camping skill that, like, uh, oh, I forgot to bring herbs. Uh, I didn't really forget, this is too situational. So yeah, there's a camping skill that reduces his stress by 50 for like two time or one time or something like that. Very good, because, you know, stress is still a bad thing in my opinion. Even the berserking status is not enough. Because, you know, it can still hurt you. And he has a camping skill that gives him... I think it's a speed buff? Let me use this skill once. Yeah, it's a speed buff. I think it's a damage buff. It also cures bleed and blight for some reason. It's a, it's a it's a weird skill. And his final camping skill just removes all diseases from him, which is actually pretty good. I found myself using that skill a fair bit. Okay. We pretty much have complete control over this fight. Nice crit. And you should probably heal yourself for that bleed. Okay. Easy fights. And ignore the books. Stop asking me, I keep giving you my answer. So, on a scale of 1 to 10 in grading the flagellant, 1 being like, uh, what's the worst class in the game? In my opinion, probably the Arbalist. 1 being the Arbalist and 10 being like the Leper. He's pretty much like an 8 or something like that, he's fairly good. He might very well even be the best class. It's a bit too soon to judge, though. I haven't had mass experience with it. Did you all seriously go before the Plague Doctor? I wanted them to go first so I can... There we go. Land both Blights. Jackpot. Take that, Bone Rattlers. It was a graveyard... Oh, God. <laughs> this is basically me in a nutshell. Just taking everything lightly and then suddenly crit, and you're dead. Hey, at least it's not Seaweed Slash. If that was a Seaweed Slash crit, I think I already would have been dead. Except Seaweed Slash, of course, can't hit the third rank. Almost accidentally misclicked on the corpse, because my mouse is... My mouse is actually kind of junky. I play, I play Overwatch with this and I can't aim because it's a bit fidgety. Like, it's too heavy to move, like, in a s straight, solid line. Like, this is me trying to move it, like, smoothly. It's all bumpy and gross. Okay, this thing is dead. I didn't even need to attack. <laughs> yeah, I did absolutely nothing, and it still is dead. Okay, we can get an adrenaline rush off for really no reason. Just one point of HP. Take those busts. I'm gonna have to get used to needing every single, uh... What's the word? Heirloom. Because in the test files, though, like, everything was already fully upgraded. We didn't need to do anything. They also gave us, like, 400 free crests to use with the construction stuff. Which we'll be seeing later on in the game, probably. Except not, because it's expensive as fuck. I have been getting... 
n not really complaints really, but uh, someone that watches me has been saying that I curse a bit too much. Who that is, I actually have no idea because it was said through someone else. The uh, Iron Swan. Beautiful. Iron Swan is probably the most situational move in the game. I mean, it hits one rank, and you need to be in one rank to use it. And it, it's just a straight up normal attack, it just hits the back line. Dismas. You can't die here, you don't have my permission to die. You don't have time to die. Yes, Odin Sphere quote. I, I'm kind of wondering the balance of Odin Sphere and uh, Darkest Dungeon. Definitely going to be more Darkest Dungeon than Odin Sphere because of the fact that my channel is essentially only has this level of, uh, I'd say, popularity because of DD. Let's just cure that bleed, it's, it's effectively a 3 heal. I forgot to check the camping skills on my units before I left, even though it doesn't really matter. Can this kill you? If it hits a 5 it can, but it won't. Ooh, 10. If I can get a 1 from this, and it says 1 to 1, so it's obviously going to hit 0. Oh, it actually hit one. Surprising amount of damage. Just take everything. Um, you have Fanatophobia, so there's like no downside of you checking this. Well, actually there is, it could be locked in, but it doesn't matter. So is gold always stacked up to 1,750, or was that something that they added in the beta testing thing? I do not remember. Okay, I took a big break from Dark's Dungeon. A, a forcible break. Here we go. Quiet Wayne. I, I really don't like the fact that Wayne has a lot more lines now. It, it's Granted, it's better for casual players. But it's not good for let's players. Like me. Twelve. Nice. I really think that this that move is over hated. I mean it's it's not a bad move, it's just it's a debuff. All that negative bleed resist. Glad we don't have an occultist. And that is almost death's door. Death's door stop. Crit would kill, but I don't want it to. Fucking hell. At least I have this bandage here. Who bought the bandage with them? Or did I just pick that up? And we get... Great journal entry. Yeah, two sentences. Actually, technically three, the way it's worded, but you could have just fit them in one sentence. You could have fit them in, uh, like, a few words. Just cultists are stupid and clumsy. Hey, look, it's four spiders. Well, you know what that means? We're dead. Okay, we outsped one of them. Well, of course, Dismas has 11 speed. I'd be surprised if he didn't outspeed them all. Okay, Dismas is probably going to be on death's door now, unless we can kill both of these spitters. Oh. Uh, what the f- What is wrong with your speed? I needed you to go first and stun the third spitter, but now you can't. Now he's going to absolutely destroy Dismas. And now I'm going to need to speed up my Vestal in order to heal Dismas off death's door. Oh, he dodged. Nice. Okay. Uh, it's not your time to die yet. Okay, if you go before... Okay, yeah. I thought that would happen. Luckily, you're going to die so I don't need to focus on you. So I can focus on this thing. Uh, 
Uh, I kind of need to heal Dismas still. All that speed, and you still can't speed out anyone. Um, probably still need a solo heal Dismas. Should have used the Anti Venom actually. Do we have Wound Care? Yes, we do. Okay, so I don't need to use the thing. Because it cures Blight, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Okay. Excellent. Although, I probably am just going to throw out this anyway. Yeah. The rubies are definitely worth it. 50 gold. I have a journal page, so I don't need it. So let's douse the torchlight. Check this. I'm actually going to start walking backwards. No, not backwards, walking back. Because I want to get as much torchlight out of this campfire as I can. And because of that, I didn't want to eat eight food and then immediately get hit by a fruit proc. Okay, that's a fight, so I'm going to have to camp here. God damn it, I hit the wrong button. I meant to hit the campfire, but I hit the food instead. Probably just going to have to use half here. Okay, we have Prey, we have Chant. We don't care. If only I had Revel. Oh, Revel doesn't restore HP anymore, I forgot. Okay, so Bandit Sense is a no-brainer. Gonna heal up the Hellion. Wow, that only heals four. You have, like, no health. Guess that's what happens when you forget moves. I'm probably have, gonna have to use prey. That protection is very useful, actually. Alright, let's hope that this isn't like a, a collector. Is our party able to kill a collector? I think it could be. And that's just a few skeletons. Right. Okay, you don't have to die. It would have been would have been useful, but you don't have to. Yeah, I just want to kill one of these skeletons, I guess. There we go. There's the crit that we needed. It's not worth using bleed out for the extra fifteen percent damage. Yeah, Dismas with the Dodgers. Dismas Dodgers in the 24th and a half dungeon thing. Okay, fine, I don't know what I'm talking about here. I miss the occultist's healing already. I mean, five is not bad, but it's a bit... Ugh, compared to the occultist's, like, 12s at level one. Explain, I'm not opposed to that, really. You know, you have 14 dodge, you, you're welcome to dodge something sometime. And Dismas is back on 10 health. Just, just kill the thing. Get some stress healing. Okay, that's three. Where's all this gold coming from? Nah, I don't know. Uh, it's it's too early for me to be thinking properly, really. I mean, it's 10.55 a.m., which isn't that early, but... Ugh, didn't get much sleep last night. I, I was having this... This weird dream. You God damn it, you idiot. Great, now she's afraid of Santa Claus. Guess what, no presents for you, bitch. Eight. It's not bad. Six is never a bad number to get when healing at level one. It's not worth risking that thing getting a 1% critical hit, because you know what'll happen. 
No, it's bread. You must remind yourself that bread is a slow and insidious killer. Okay, we have a free inventory slot now. Can I get some loot? Can I get a loot crate? Maybe then I can get a fucking inflatable- No, that's not even my joke. Uh, and here we walk down the endless corridor. Cor cor corridor? Cor did I just say corway? And then our protagonist realized that it wasn't just any tunnel, but a long ass tunnel. Oh, God damn it, I, I am punished for misclicking. I knew I should have clicked the damn campfire, but I clicked the food instead because of my clumsiness. My negative five dodge. Well, at least the AoE will actually heal the Plague Doctor this time. Okay, so you shoot there. You heal everyone. There's that two. It's as if the Plague Doctor never needed healing. Nice one. It's decent enough. And tempting goblin on the unit with the least stress. I am not opposed to that, really. At least it isn't on the Vestal, who I'll probably be needing to take out, unless I get a Plague Doctor or something. No, not Plague Doctor, a Cultist. Seven. Yeah. Actually, I think that was the maximum I could have dealt. Okay, you're dead. I keep saying you're dead. I should probably stop saying that. Oh boy, minimum damage. Hooray. I hope this is the last fight. Can't really survive much longer. This party isn't the best. I actually blame the fact that... I, I can't just blame myself for clicking the food instead of the campfire. I'll never get over that, by the way. If it weren't for that, we would have been, like, 25% extra HP on everyone. We're getting Satchel. I'm pretty sure this trinket is commonly referred to as garbage. Let's check the map, see if there's a key anything here. Okay, that room needs a key, so we will dump the... Nothing. What are the odds that this curio is something that I need herbs for? The answer, 100%. Oh, surprise, surprise. Of course it was. We could go back there and grab those herbs. It's not like we absolutely smashed the bloody things. I mean, what else would I have thrown out? The holy water? It is technically more likely that I would use the holy water than any other thing. I want to kill this Coltus Brawler. Yeah, we're kind of low on HP. We should probably focus the damage dealers instead of the stress dealers. Um, we could stun you. If only I had some AoE. It's not enough. Not nearly enough. Nine. Decent. I would have preferred eight so that he would have died from bleed, so there was no corpse, but... I can't win them all. Well, maybe you can win them all, but you'd be extremely lucky. And I would hate you for being so lucky. I have no quarrel with you, sir. Oh, hey, she got off her turn before I could. Fantastic. She gets seven speed, and Dismas has seven as well, okay. Can this deal two damage? Yeah, it, it will. There we go, so you're dead after your next turn. So technically all that's left is this Bone Defender. These guys really need to learn Focus Fire. Or not, I mean, it's easier on me. Ugh. Good old Axe Blade. 
Can't, don't these guys have a guard now? Why aren't they using it? Just heal up for some reason. Like any hit will kill this guy. Eh, hey, there we go. We win. Okay, time to eat this food. One portion for everyone. Food also got slightly buffed in the amount that it heals when you're just straight up eating it. I think. Uh, you know what, you hold on to that. And just scout for super secret room. Nope. Douse the torch. No, I didn't need to throw out that torch anyway. Uh, whatever. What is it? Five gold lost because I threw it out? Pretty decent haul full of the first actual run. A lot of heirlooms. And Fangophobia. Piss. That's one of the worst ones because it always is in effect. A maddening wine. Clouds of mosquitoes and other less identifiable pests continue to descend upon the hamlet with maddling, maddening persistence. Illness and irritation inbound. New courtyard quest available. Yeah, you have to wait for the town events for the courtyard quest to be available. There's a whole bunch of mosquitoes everywhere. No flagellants still. Fantastic. Deadly. Fangophobic, really. So, uh, yeah, next episode, uh, I'll probably need to give Tilly some stress relief at town, but next episode we will probably be, um, uh, this mission stays here, by the way. The Master's Essence. Extra healing skills, extra blight skills, extra deal spills. It will be mine, whatever the cost. Extra speed and dodge. Under a certain condition. That's, I believe, Crimson Curse. But yeah, we'll be doing a quest, and then we'll be going on to do the Burn the Hives quest. Tenacity Ring, it's not that bad, it's just straight up dodge pretty much. Because, I mean, Death Blur just doesn't really matter. But yes, um, if you liked the video, make sure to smash that more fucking like button. Should upgrade the guild probably. I like to do two upgrades before actually upgrading Mastery, but I'm one portrait short. Uh, do these guys need stress healing, really? Nah, I can just bring Reynold out and have stress healing. So yeah, if you like the video, like the video, join my Discord server in the description, etc, etc. I'll probably be doing these videos daily for a while. Maybe doing Odin Sphere every four or three days or something. Yeah, you get the point. So, so see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.